Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the FTD Virtual Design Show titled Elevating Your Botanical Business, featuring Samantha Bates, AIFD, owner of Especially For You Floral in Ponchatoula, Louisiana. As a quick housekeeping note, Samantha will be taking questions during the session. So if you have a question for her, simply type it in that chat box in the toolbar at the bottom of your screen. All right, let's get started. Welcome, Samantha. Hi, everybody. How are y'all doing today? Uh, I wanted to start off by uh, thanking Janet and thanking FTD for having me uh, do this presentation for y'all today. I'm really excited about it, so I hope y'all are too. Um, at our shop, we really do a lot of plant sales as well as fresh flower sales. And I'd like to make an emphasis on that and make our plants different when we're delivering to homes or when we're delivering to businesses, and especially in sympathy. We do have quite a other a lot of other forests in our area. Uh, so I like to make sure that our product stands out from everybody else's. So we're gonna get started on the first plant. The first one I have here, this is just a regular wooden box container. Uh, and I did go ahead and plant a vermilion plant in there. And then I wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about the trellis that we have. This is just a river cane trellis. But what I do like to make sure that we do whenever we're building something that gives something a lot more height. So we give that more perceived value when we have all this negative space in here that really gives it that nice look is to make sure that it's sturdy for when we're delivering it. So when the customers and clients are bringing everything home, they're not having any problems. So I kind of wanted to show you how we secure our river paint together, our bamboo together. And what we're gonna do for that is I'm just gonna take some nine wire. And I'll fix it right here so you can kind of see. I'm gonna go around and twist that over each other. And then I'm gonna come back around and twist it. And now what really holds it in place is if you come around the front and then you go around those two middle pieces of river paint. That's gonna make it super tight where that's not going anywhere. If you just go around a couple of times, I'll kind of show you the difference here. If you just go around once, to be able to move that up and down really easily. So on this side, that one's not moving. Even if you go around twice, if you don't go around these middle two in between the two pieces of the bamboo, it's going to allow that to move up and down. It's eventually going to loosen a lot quicker. So that's one way to kind of really put that in place. So when your customers enjoy it, their plant, they don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry about it coming apart or loosening or it losing its overall look after a while. Now to really kind of step this up, go ahead and clean this up real quick. This is something that we do a lot for in our sympathy. And if you can see in here, I kind of plant everything off to the side a little bit. That's going to give me a nice, amount, a nice amount of space to work with right here. So in this one, I'm going to actually add fresh flowers into this one by using one of the Oasis Idols. I want the customer to be able to enjoy some fresh and then have something to enjoy afterwards. So we're just going to stake that in. And I go through the two holes that are provided, but I'm also going to put another stake right in the front so that's going to stop it from falling forward. On this, I'm going to keep a lot of greenery and then just a little bit of blooms because I really do want to make sure that the plant is the main focal point, but I just want to give it a little extra accent so that they have something to enjoy now and then later. But for that, I'm going to use some rustics just to kind of draw your eye up. 
I'm just using two stems of everything. There. So we're going to add some formosa for the wispiness. And I'm really just going to focus on covering that oasis. And the good thing about not entirely securing that igloo in there is that once this is all said and done and it's time to get rid of the fresh flowers the customer can just pull that right up and they have a nice plant to enjoy but this is going to add a really nice addition to your plants and that way you're upselling with your fresh flowers included. We're just filling the igloo. And I also have this is some tinted plumosa. I'm sorry, tinted pompous grass that we got. And I'm gonna add this in here. And that's gonna bring that color nice and up and through. I'm not a huge creature adder to plants and some of these stuff. But if I do add anything, because I customers do really love those butterflies, I do always stick with the monarch butterfly because it's going to look a lot more realistic in there. And I'm just going to add that right up here. So that is going to be a really nice presentation. And then once your fresh flowers die off, then that can just be removed. And then your client is left with a nice plant. Still bring it all your eye off. Have a little monarch butterfly up there and something that they can keep from the sun. Always really quick and easy to do. It's a nice little add on. For our next one, Samantha, question? Absolutely. Do you pre make like the plant part and then customize the, the little floral, the fresh floral we to go in? So I really want, if a client walks into my shop, I don't want them to see just a plant in a basic vessel or a basic pot. I want it done up. So we will have lots of examples of those done up around the store where if you do plant the plant off to the side a little bit, it gives you that extra design area to plant to upsell. Or if they don't, it still has a nice presentation to it. They can uh, really just enjoy it as is. And then has that asymmetrical very negative space look to it. So this one, I'm actually using the FTD Comfort Planner. Uh, and I have, we got these beautiful Halloween plants out here. Uh, but a lot of our plants lately that we've been seeing from our wholesalers and from our growers, we've been uh, trying to make them larger because they've been coming in quite short and small. small. I'm not sure if that is something that's going on all around the country. But we have had uh, plants that we're, we're really trying to emphasize a lot more now, just because they're getting shorter and smaller. So for this pile lily, I added, these are, this is yarn wrapped middle And I'm gonna show you how we did this. After, uh, when you wrap, Madalena, this is about four stems, and I'm going to show you real quick how I did that one. This is done with the drill. So it took just four stems of Madalena, and I just kind of put that in my drill and tighten that up. And then for the yarn, it folds itself in if you place the yarn in between a couple of the stems. And I'm gonna leave it kind of long so that I have a little bit rough, a little bit extra to wrap that part that isn't wrapped. 
And once we have that end there, I'll make sure that's cold. We're just gonna get this. showing. I just inserted a larger uh, gauge wire. And then I'm just going to wrap that around. And just tie that off. And that will give you something to stick in the plant so the Medellino doesn't get weak when it's in the plant. And then it can just stick in from there. And after you've wrapped a couple of these, you can kind of create this kind of geometric design. And I found that you can push on it and it'll start to hold the design. I don't, it, it's about four stems in there, like I said, wrapped in yarn and it'll start kind of folding itself. And I wanted it to almost look like a rose kind of balloon. There, push that down again. See from the top, it comes out quite a bit larger than the plant. The plant is just right here. And then we've created all this extra visual weight to it to get a lot bigger there. But that is also in the sympathy planner that FCD has. We really enjoy this planner. We sell a lot of these too. We have customers come in uh, that just like them because they're very sleek, they're very nice looking. So we do sell quite a bit of these. We're in a small community here. It's a small town. Uh, we probably have, uh, I think it's only about 7,000 people in our city. So we're quite small. But uh, I have a lot of real estate clients. And our real estate clients, they love sending the flowers, don't get me wrong. Uh, but they do also like to send a little bit something different. And their real estate has been going really quick lately. So uh, we try to come up with something new. With the season right now, one of our biggest sellers that are uh, real estate will send to any of their new house buyers or something about a big old new house. They're gonna send a nice housewarming present to them. One of the new things that we're doing right now is herb gardens. So herb gardens, I'm lucky enough to have uh, our Conchitula feed and seed is right next door to me. Uh, it's basically attached to my building. So they have all these great herbs. On the other side of me is a laser cutting business. And they cut out all of our little laser name tags for the plants. These have been doing amazing for our real estate clients, sending them to their new home buyers, their first time home buyers. They've really been enjoying these. And to kind of separate the plants out, I used all of these different deco sands, this crushed glass, and also these natural stones. These are from Accent Decor, and I just really love these. I did find when I first started working with them that the sand to get around plants was a little difficult. So uh, in order to overcome that, we kind of played around with it. And I found that if you use a thicker piece of cardstock paper and just kind of roll it up into a funnel, you can pour the sand in there and then you can 
get exactly where you want to get with the different sands. I have a lot of different colored sands on order because I love these so much. And they make such a big impact in all the different arrangements. But the herbs are really nice. There's something different that uh, some people don't expect you to carry. And they also be, they can be used to grow them. They can also be used in your flower arrangements. I know we've always used rosemary, we've used lavender in our arrangements. Uh, this is all just really great stuff to have and clients absolutely love these. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I would, no, no questions. I just wanted to say I thought that was a great, fun, unique gift for real estate and for home buyers. It's something that they've never really seen before in our area. I don't know if other areas, it's something that they're doing, but it also allows us to utilize local businesses. So it's one small shop buying from another small shop. So it helps everybody. And then it's all welcoming local home buyers. So I'm all about that. All right. We do have a question that did just pop in, Samantha. Erica, Erica was asking, how much do you charge for the herb box? The herb box kind of depends uh, on what everything's going for them. That one right there, I would be roughly in our area about $100 at least. Uh, I think, let's see, actually maybe about $125 on that one. Um, it kind of really depends on what we're able to get our plants for, how good the plants look, because if they're not looking good, we're not, we're not going to offer them. Uh, what kind of container, one of the larger ones like that will definitely go higher. They want a smaller one that maybe only has two or three plants. Obviously, we're not going to be using all the product that we would be on a, a larger plant. But yeah, great question. Okay, we've got another one. Where do you source your planters, such as the first one that you got and that you used and then the herb garden box? So the first one, is that the, the red one that we're talking about? Yes. Okay, so that one actually came from a local wholesaler in our area. Uh, they distribute, I think, to Louisiana, uh, I think parts of Mississippi as well, uh, but they are Earl Dozier Company. But they're just a, a floral supply wholesaler. Uh, any kind of boxes, I've looked at multiple different places. I go with uh, whatever kind of looks great. I also shop sales a lot. So if we come across, I think I got those boxes for maybe only like $5 each. They were on sale that week. So we buy like 30 or 40 of them and just kind of stack them away. I also, when I'm sort of looking at stuff like that, I like to see if it's something that can be painted that doesn't look like it took spray paint. So uh, anything that can be transformed, stuff like that, we always keep an eye for that. Uh, this last one, the herb garden, that uh, I believe was from Accent Decor as well. Great, thank you. Okay, so if you have been Looking at any sort of housekeeping magazines lately, these ZZ plants are a super trendy plant right now. Uh, I'm seeing them in all the magazines, all over social media, Instagram, Pinterest, and they're relatively easy to deal with. They're very low maintenance. Uh, this one is one, it's, forget the exact name of it, but it's a ZZ that has a black relief to it instead of the normal gray relief. But I thought it'd be interesting to do something like this if we did it in a more modern way. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but I actually have black bark down at the bottom to kind of create a little well for water. And then we're going, I went in with soil and then top that off with uh, just some moss. Now to give this its added flair, I'm going with the other trendy thing right now. Lots of drive. It's definitely a super easy thing to keep in stock at your shop and add to plants because it's going to give that extra added height 
It's also going to give the interest and it's right on trend right now. So I'm going to start off with some birch branches. Kind of off to the side. And with this one, I want it to fit just to have a little bit right there. Because I'm going to complement it. I've got this dried eucalyptus that we're going to add in. And you know how I was talking about all of our plants have been shorter and uh, just stumpier lately? This is another way to help get that higher. Also, if you use a more elongated vase, a vase that isn't expected to be used as a planter, that is automatically going to give you extra awesomeness. Let's see. So we're in Louisiana. We do the preserved cat I can get them fresh, I definitely do. They're not ready yet, but I always keep the preserves on stock. So I'm just gonna add a couple of those to kind of balance out my sides. And then I also have this great compass brush that we're gonna add. What else we got here? The sponge mushroom. I love the texture of these. Maybe you can see that texture, but these are super, almost on like one side, and then they're kind of flat on the other side. This side I absolutely love. It's got so much texture to it. So then we're gonna add a couple of those in there. I've got these great sphere palms. Bring that out just a little bit to kind of get a little And then I've got bunny tails. I love bunny tails. The dragons are bunny tails. They have such a nice little airiness. And so our shop also does a lot of weddings. We're seeing a ton of this in wedding work right now. All the brides are in there. Pictures. Doing these in groups of two. Yeah, I just want to accent the plant. I don't really want to take away from it, but I do want to give it that extra added room. So when it's brought to a house or a funeral or a, to just send it to a client, that they look at it and they're like, oh, wow. That's not something I've seen before. And then I also have uh, the bell pumps, and I love these too. And that feels right in front. Just like that. I went a little bit over the edge on that one, just so it kind of has a little bit more flow forward. But that is all dry preserve, and then just your ZZ in the middle. And the great thing that I love about the glasses is you can really see if the if the dirt is dry that needs to be watered instead of just guessing or having to stick your finger in the pan to see if it is wet or not. Uh, you can clearly see if it's wet or if it's dry, and then you can just leave the rest of this because it's all dry. Wow, that's some great ideas, Samantha. I love it. I did want to uh, mention this. So when we do our real estate clients for a little extra, uh, added, a little added extra sell-on, we keep watering cans in stock. So this is a nice little add-on that you can sell with your herb garden. You can have a little watering can so they have a little something extra and they can take care of it. Tonight, that's a really great uh, upsell. Yeah. <laughs> Get some extra margin and money in the. You do what you gotta do. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I do. Uh, if anybody knows me, they know that I absolutely love building things with my flowers. And one of my most favorite things is these plastic rings from the inside of the floral table. I collect every single one and I poured them in buckets and I love them and I use them for lots of different applications. For this next plant, we built a trellis for the plant. 
uh, I'll put it in a plant that doesn't actually necessarily need to have a trellis, but it looks beautiful in there. It gives an added extra uh, accent. But to build this next one, it's just these little rings from the inside of the pool tape. And then I just zip time together. And I'll create designs on the desk and then just go through and zip tie them all together. Uh, I find that zip ties do work a lot better because it's going to give it a little extra stability than just hot glue. But for this plant, this is going to be the built trellis back then. So this is going to be a much more modern design. It does have the safety plant in there. I've got a couple of bird's nest ferns in here. And then of course the bell cups because I love the repetition of the circle coming in here to here. And then I've got it included in the moss. But this is going to be a more upscale design. Uh, looks beautiful going to the panel. It's definitely going to catch everybody's eye. Uh, it's super sustainable. You can uh, basically send this to any sort of client. You can send uh, watering cans with that. You can, it's just got endless possibilities as far as this, but I really love the shape of them. Having just something different. Can you see that? Having something different in there. And I did add uh, a curly willow branch to that to give it a lot more stability. So this is not going anywhere. And then as the CZ grows, you can attach it to go up because it does have a little bit of a, a softer stem. How is it attached to the curly willow? Is that kind of the willow woven through there or do you have some little attachments? No, yeah, so I'll take this out real quick just so you can see. So this is all of the four rings, and they're going to be all zip tied together. You can kind of see off the side how the little zip tie ends are poking out. And then once this framework was put together, I knew this was a little flimsier than I would like it to, to be as a support for a plant. So I just added in uh, a curly willow branch, and it's just laid on there and then zip tied to the frame. So it's not woven in or anything like that. Uh, very simple. And then I spray painted it black because I wanted something black to match my container so everything kind of went together. Great, thank you. It's a great idea. Those little plastic rings are so useful. You can really use them for so many different things. And I hate throwing good things like that away. So uh, for the next one, This one's going to be all airplanes. So for this one, I've got the Oasis Mega Beta Flyer. I've got some air plants. This vessel's from Accent to Four. I think these gold rings are just multiple different sizes. I think I just got these from Amazon. So for these, what I'm going to do is I love this shape of the container. It really just has so many possibilities for me. It's just a bigger shape. So what I'm going to do is I unstrung this fryer. Just because if you ever work with any of the beaded wires, you know they can kind of get stuck onto each other. So I do like to have a little bit of an area to unstring it so I'm not fighting against myself. But I'm going to hold these two together, the two rings, and I'm just going to start wrapping the wire around just to kind of secure the two rings together. 
once that's in here, you can just wrap B by B, and I'll go one beat one way and one beat the other, and it'll hold itself over. And that way you're not working around and around and around. You're just twisting it over. get to this area. I'm just going to kind of work on this inner. So I've got about right there. And then I'll come, let's say, across. And wrap that and just secure that. Because what I want to do is kind of just give this inner circle some added interest. So let's go across here. And it's, it's kind of random how I do it with these. Whatever you want to do, whatever feels right. Sometimes it'll depend on what type of plants that you're going to be using. But I do love how you just twist it with the beads and the beads hold themselves on. Is going to clean my structure for this one. And these just fit perfectly in here. And it's cool. I'm going to use my rocks. some sand down at the bottom so maybe you're not using as many rocks. It not, doesn't bother me on this one because I love the weight of it. We have customers, well I've learned that sometimes a customer will maybe pick something up and if it doesn't have weight to it, they're like, oh, it shouldn't be that expensive. So if I can add weight to something, people will pick it up and it's like their perceived value of it is like, oh, it's heavy, it must be expensive. Perfect, yes. Samantha, your sound got a little quiet. Oh, we're living in the spheres with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Show them what you're capable of with your creativity. 
then they know you can do the simple stuff. You can do the more unique stuff. It just gives a much more well-rounded idea of what they know that you can do. I think it adds to your professional image as well. It definitely does. It definitely does. You get uh, asked by all the people in the panel, and we get asked to do uh, lots of different shows for uh, like churches. We just did Art and Bloom in our area last weekend. Uh, so it was it was all because of what they come into our shop and what they see. Yeah. And we do have a question. Where did you say you got the rings from? The rings were from Amazon. Okay. All right, and I've got another question. With all the creative ideas with plants, how much have your sales increased over the years? Like, can you? With plants, I couldn't give you an exact number. My husband's the, the finance man of the shop and he works with our bookkeeper, which we're lucky enough to have. Uh, but yeah, because our plant sales and all that have gone up is why we're able to have a bookkeeper. But my husband uh, definitely knows where the numbers make. And I can tell you how much stuff costs and what I'm gonna sell it for, but as far as like usually percentages, that's that's all him. But he is not upset, I can tell you that. All right, so you're definitely seeing some good increases on with all your creativity and absolutely, absolutely. Just having stuff on the showroom floor uh, that people can see and that they can go ahead and buy instead of having to wait to have you make something up, that also helps. Uh, people are wanting to buy now and then leave now because they've got busy lives as well. So having stuff ready, having more creative stuff, along with the more traditional stuff, uh, just having a nice mixture in your showroom. Uh, we do tend to lean to more of the creative side in our showroom, but uh, just having the mixture definitely helps out a lot. Awesome, thank you. All right, well, uh, thank you for sharing your talent, for showing us some fresh ways and super creative ways to design and sell plants. Um, if anybody has any final questions, type them in the chat. Um, I do have one more question right now. Uh, you mentioned earlier that you have classes. How often do you hold classes or? That we hold classes? Yeah, or did, was that not? I think that might've been misunderstood. We don't actually hold classes too often, uh, but I mean, I used to teach a few classes. Okay. In a state florist association, but not, not so much on at the shop, a couple of classes. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, I don't see any additional questions. So uh, thank you everyone for attending. A recording will be available on demand on the FTD Mercury Network Florist YouTube channel. And for more education programming from FTD, visit ftdi.com to register for upcoming free webinars and design shows, as well as viewing past education programs on demand. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Samantha. Thank you.